<laughs> yeah, what what happened there was that you know I I came on a flight from Qatar and when I when I landed in Mumbai they told me that they have none of my suitcase, absolutely none. The only thing, not even my gear bag. The only thing I had was 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 my carry on, you know. And I left I left the the airport and I came to the hotel. And when I came to the hotel, I just took my clothes off because I was traveling for two days. Take a shower and just been in my room for about two to three days in just my towel. You know, so when, when anybody knock on the door, I would just hide behind the door and just peep. You know? And when you guys came to deliver to deliver my, my stuff, you know, that that's basically what I did. You know, that's that's the start of my DC journey. You know, no bags, nothing but all great things start that way sometime. Well, w- one of the guys here cracked a bad joke. He said, there's Powell in towel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that quite well. <laughs> the day has finally arrived. We have been waiting for this for a while, heard a lot about you, had a few conversations with you. So before we get into it, let me have a small introduction. A lot of our fans have been asking for asking us to have a podcast with you. They want to hear you. They want to know you a little better. And we have this privilege of your presence today. So everyone, this is what you have been waiting for. Roman Powell is here and we are so excited. Yeah, it's always it's always a pleasure to be here. You know, it's it's good to be on a podcast, not my first, but maybe the most exciting one for me. You know, it's Rovman Powell from from the Caribbean, from West Indies. You know, more specifically from Jamaica. You know, the land of Chris Gale, Bob Marley, Usain Bolt, and all those world famous guys. You know, they have they also call it the land of reggae. There's a lot of a lot of fast athletes there, so you can say it's a land of sprinting also. You know, and I'm from 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 a humble beginning, you know, as as everyone know, and that's just me. Wow. So so many things to talk about. Really excited. But while you're mentioning those names, I I'm pretty sure and I've heard you talking about this, you want your name to be there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, anything you're doing, you try to, to do it to the best of your ability. You know, and that's that's something that I strive for. You know, want to want to put my name out there and put my name out there in, 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 in a legendary status. You understand? It will take some while. It will take a lot of hard work. But as Nelson Mandela said, everything seems impossible until it's done. You know, so I'll just keep working hard at that in the end night. And, you know, just put in the hours. And if at the end of the day I give it my best and I am not a legend, I'm proud of myself because I give it my best. You understand? So that's just what I'm about, just giving it my best. Whether my best is good yeah, good enough, you know, it's good enough for me as the individual. It gives me satisfaction knowing that I give my best. You know, so it's, 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 that's what I'm about. Yeah, I, I, I know what you're about. And you are about to inspire a lot of people now who will listen to this podcast and if you are not inspired yet then watch out for a lot of things we are going to chat about today and we'll start with the latest one we'll start with you at DC how things have been and let, let's begin with your first day and it, it was quite funny you know you got into quarantine and when we came to deliver the kit bags uh, we were taking some videos from far away right yeah and, and there's some mishap happened right <laughs> yeah what what happened there was that you know i i came on a flight from qatar and when i when i landed in mumbai they told me that they have none of my suitcase absolutely none the only thing not even my gear bag the only thing i had was 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 my carry-on you know and i left i left the the airport and i came to the hotel and when I came to the hotel I just took my clothes off because I was traveling for two days take a shower and just been in my room for about two to three days in just my towel you know so when when anybody knock on the door I would just hide behind the door and just peep you know and when you guys came to deliver to deliver my my stuff you know that that's basically what I did you know that's that's the start of my DC journey you know no bags nothing but all great things start that way sometime. 
<laughs> one of the guys here cracked a bad joke. He said, "There's Paul in towel." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that quite well. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> It's that guy sitting right there, operating the camera for us. <laughs> yeah. So, so that that that's the start. Then uh, you came out of the quarantine. We joined the training. First day, the huddle, Ricky Ponting, inspiring us all. How did it go? Yeah, it's 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 been good so far. You know, coming all the way from the Caribbean, it's very very important to come here and feel at home. And you know, to be honest, the Delhi Capitals family accept me as part of the family, and I feel at home here. And that is very very important. When I was leaving the Caribbean, that was the most important thing in my mind. You know, because being comfortable in an environment, it can give you best performances. You understand? And coming here. realize the environment realize the atmosphere realize that each and every one is behind you when you go to play whether you do well or you don't have a good day you know that is very very important you know you mentioned you mentioned Ricky when Ricky talked to us he inspired us all you know he let us he let us want to run in a run in a brick wall for him and for the Delhi Capitals brand that is how much he inspired us you know as a boy growing up i i watch a lot of Ricky Flame and i and so i so i i try to try to take a few things from him definitely when i go back home i am a captain also so when i go back home i i will take some of these speeches you know just the way he articulate himself just the way he, he, he bring the group together is is something that we all can learn from absolutely and uh, from my experience i've been here for 5 years now from my experience the thing that stands out is how the guys bond together i mean seeing it like it's a family but actually being one are two different things right yeah it's it's very very important because you know guys coming all across coming from all across the world what that does is that it's an exchange of culture a lot of culture mixing and that culture you have to try your best to put it in in one mold you understand and that is when you 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 get you get you get a good team you put all those personalities all those culture in one and when when you do that sometime more often than not you have successful teams you know i'm coming from the west indies david one and guys coming from Australia you have guys coming from South Africa guys coming from from all over the world all over India also where there's a lot of cultural diversion you know so it's good it's good to put it all together and guys understanding each other that is very very important yeah and and that's the beauty of IPL right that is that is one of the benefits of IPL you know we come here and and, and we meet people you know we, we build bonds bonds that will last last a lifetime you know bonds that are not easily broken you know after IPL we 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 still stay in contact with people and and, and just to chat right throughout the year until we are back at the next IPL you know that are those are the connections that that are formed to IPL and it's such it's such amazing to see that that I I personally feel that's one of the most beautiful things about sport in general not just cricket not just IPL but sport in general right yeah it's true it's true it's not just IPL it's it's just sport in general sport sport and entertainment those kind of things kind of bring people together you know and it's 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 so it's so good that is why a society that have that have good entertainment and have good sports is generally a good society because what does what that does to it people it bring laughter it bring joy and it let people move away from the negativity or the harsh reality of life you know sport and entertainment just bring people to to a, to a joyous phase and when they are at a joyous phase nobody in there at that that are happy and laughing and do bad things you know all pe- pe- people do bad things when they feel depressed and all, when they feel stress and all those kind of things when they feel like they have no way out but if a man know that he can watch a little football watch a little cricket and laugh and have a little bit of fun here and there then then that is a good stress reliever not just for us as players but also for the wider public absolutely and 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 we absolutely love admire what you all do for us i mean uh, i still remember back in the pandemic everything was shut right yeah and when ipl started after being postponed initially there was crazy happiness in the people right because the, it was the first sport tournament which started which yeah. we could see people got 
some sort of relief after a difficult day being at home doing nothing some people not having jobs a lot of difficulties for everyone right but ipl got that little smile on their faces in the evening that is that is very very good and 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 it's even even for us in the caribbean you know when when i wasn't at the ipl when i was not playing i would get up in the morning just to watch it you know and i also and i always said that it's the best league in the world so definitely if i considered myself one of the better t20 players in the league i would definitely want to be the, be in the ipl you know and the place is locked down because of the pandemic all across the world so people are looking forward to something and the IPL give millions of fans that opportunity if it's even for 3 hours of the day for have a good 3 hours watch your team play watch the best players that you like to see play and 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 that just make, let they forget about all the all the problems that they face all the hills the social hills that they have around them you know that for the three or four hours they, they, they just forget it and be in a different space and after the, and after that game then they start facing their problems again but what happened is that the IPL games come so fast some so fast at you that as soon as you sleep again there is a next one so for that month or two months it do it do a lot of good for people absolutely uh, it's quite thrilling to watch those games uh, coming to the IPL coming to Delhi Capitals uh, you were in india while the auctions were going on right yeah uh, so who were you watching it with um to be honest we were all of us were in our rooms you know we were we were in india when when the auction was going on you know, and i i was with kkr back in the days in 2017 i was with kkr and and i didn't play any game you know and after that i didn't i wasn't in, in the ipl so I, I i did well in international cricket and i i watched i was watching the auction and the first day my name didn't call so i i said to my agent what are my chances which team you know just 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 being yes. excited you know want to be here and he said that just relax man what is to be will be you know and i just said okay i went to training the next day because i i had this the, the, the auction schedule you know and i went to training and I was laying in the bed and I was was pretty chill until they called my name. When they called my name, I get so, no, so nervous. When they, I was pretty chill supporting the other Caribbean guys, you know, and after they called my name, I got, I got so nervous. And I was like, Phew. and when I saw the first bid, all the nerves come because I yes. know with that first bid, you will be at the IPL. That's the important thing. After you see that first bid, somebody put up there and after your name is called. Forget the price at that point. You right. know that your ticket to go to the IPL is booked. You know, and then, and then it, 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 it just, people keep bidding, people keep bidding. And I say, okay, and in the end, Delhi Capitals placed the final bid, something that I'm grateful for. Amazing. And, and you were playing against India. Yeah. And I, I was watching one of the games where uh, the commentators or the presenters asked Rishabh Pant like while he has scored so many runs you wouldn't like it because he has scored it against India but somewhere in your mind you're smiling right because you know you're going to be playing with him in the same team yeah definitely Risha, Risha is someone we look up to in the Caribbean because we think he's a good player you know so whenever we play him against him we have meetings how to try to curtail his, his cricketing prowess you know to try to keep him quiet you know and and after, after I was bought by Delhi Capitals, we saw each other and we just laughed because we know each other before. We never knew each other good, good, but we, we, we sat and we talked before. So after it, he said that he's excited for me to be a part of the team and he will, he will find a nice role, give me a role that I would like and one that I would embrace. You know, and he stick to his word. You know, he tell me that it's a good franchise and and that it's a franchise that believes in family and believes in each and every player that that they pick you know and i was even talking to hetmeyer and hetmeyer said that i'm gonna be honest with you paul delhi capitals is a very good franchise and it's a good franchise to actually start your ipl career because 
they believe in family and you are far from the Caribbean, so family becomes so important. So if you come here and, and you don't feel a part of an environment, you will struggle. No matter how strong you are mentally, the competition in itself is long, the games in itself is hard. You understand? So it's important to, to have people around you in the Delhi Capital environment that one believes in you that trust you regardless of your performances and when we come back when we come back we just we just sit talk and and and, and as i said before build lifelong friendships absolutely the way uh, i i mean before i say anything I, I i need to talk about admire i mean how much we miss him we miss his energy we miss him roaming around with the speaker <laughs> <laughs> What a guy. You know, as it as it regards it, my I felt I felt as if I came here trying to fill that at my at my avoid, to be honest. You know, but I know it my is a very good player. So what I do is that I don't I don't pressure I don't put no pressure on myself because a lot of persons would say that you are here to full to to go in the head my shoes, but me and Hetmeyer wear two different shoe sizes. <laughs> so my foot can't fit in Hetmeyer shoes, if you understand what I mean. So I'm just here to, 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 to do what Rovman Paul can, you know, not yes. to try to emulate Hetmeyer, try right. to emulate anyone else. I'm trying to do it the Rovman Paul way. And I know once, once things go according to plan, the Delhi Capital franchise will benefit. Absolutely. And, and, and now, uh, going back to the point you were talking about, you know, Irrespective of the results, when we come back to the hotel, we sit together, we chill. That's probably the best of the times, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky, all, all Ricky. Ricky said that we win together, we lose together. And that is such a very good mantra. You understand, regardless of the result, you come back as one family. You eat some food, drink some drinks, and then you can, you can go back to your room. That is definitely something, something that... Going forward, I will try to implement in the teams that I am captain. You know, you win together, you lose together. More, more often than not, in a lot of teams that you go in, it's only when you win, you know, you get you that celebrate, celebrate that, that celebration. You come together and you drink drinks. So what about when you lose? You know, that is also important. Sometimes when you lose, that is when you learn the most. Losing feel bad for us as, as, as professional athletes because there's so much so much at stake. Our reputation is at stake. We make the fans not pleased and the franchise sometimes is not pleased. But when you have an organization like the Delhi Capital that comes together, whether you win, lose or draw, that in itself lessens the pressure on you as the player. Absolutely. And, and it's so important. I, I, I absolutely love when Ricky says... And more than everything else, we stick together. We stick together. That's 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 very very good. To it all, we stick together, no matter what. You know, sometimes you can go there and you play the best game you can, but you still come out on the losing end. Those things do happen. All the plans you have for you have for a player, you put them in, you put them together, and it still don't work. That player just counteract that plan on that particular day because that day he was so good. You understand? So sometimes when you when, when you go to games and you lose games, it's not entirely because of your fault you know the other team train and prepare just like you so sometimes it's who is in the moment who do what is necessary at that point to win win the games you know so it, it's 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 a large spectrum man so it can't be when when you just win you have fun alone you have to enjoy the loses also and when those when you enjoy when you enjoy the bad times imagine how sweet the good times will feel Right. Yeah. Hoping for more good times than bad times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. That is what life is about. You know, yeah. nobody wants to live a life that have more bad days than <laughs> good days. So it's 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 the same for us as, as, as cricketers, you know, it's sometimes the good days can be few and far because in life in, in, in sports you generally have more bad days than good days to be honest, especially as a cricketer. You know, so that is something we have to embrace. That is why when, when you get success you can't get too high. Yes. And that is when you get failure, you can't get too low. You have to have that mutual ground with whether you fail, yes or no. Life continues the next day. And that is just general in everything you do. You know, for people watching the podcast, 
that is that is just life you know not all some of the fans aren't and professional cricketers some of the fans are professional in their other jobs that they do you understand so just remember that you're gonna have good days and you're gonna have bad days on the job you know when you have good days don't get too high when you have bad days, don't get too low. Try to always find that middle ground. Try to always find that little comfort within yourself to know that it's just a part of life. Good days will come. Bad days will come. Good things will happen. Bad things will happen. Just relax. Get back home. If you're a tea lover, you drink some tea. If you love sports, you watch the IPL and, and, and those kind of things. And then you look forward to tomorrow. You know, you just look forward to tomorrow as a new day a new opportunity to to do better than you did yesterday. Some wise words there. And two things, right? One, don't be too hard on yourselves. And two, good, bad, nothing lasts. Nothing lasts forever. Back in the Caribbean, they would say that only a good salvation lasts forever. That simply means if, if you're having a very bad day, if you're having a very bad week, if you're having a very bad month, if you're having a very bad year, it will, it will come to an end. No matter how dark tonight is, tomorrow the sun will shine. Or one day the sun will shine. And no matter how, sh- how bright and pretty the day is today, one day it's going to get gloomy. And no matter who we're talking about in life, those days happen. You know, if you're talking about the richest guys in the world, sometimes you wake up and you see they lose 14, 15 billion dollars in just one little shift in the market. You know, so it, it's just it's just life. People think as if when they have bad days, the world is against them. That's not true. You know, when you have bad days, the world isn't against you. You just don't come on hurt to expect to have all good days and you don't come on earth to expect to have all bad days but what you're gonna do as an individual is build up a coping mechanism a coping mechanism is when you have bad days what you go to you lean to your family or you lean to your loved ones you know when you have good days you go to them same way that is a coping mechanism you know regardless of the outcome of your day you still go to the people you love and you still spend time with them you know, that is very, very important in, in, in navigating anything, that coping mechanism where you as the individual, what you, what, what, what you, what you, what you see fit are what you love most. Absolutely. And I, I feel I, I could take that and now bring it to something where I can relate to it really well. Let's talk about the start you have had in IPL, right? You have been batting so well in the nets. You have had great time last couple of years with the bat. You played in India against the best of the Indian spinners and the fast bowlers and did what you do. So you're quite confident coming into the IPL, right? Uh, Game one, things didn't go your way. Game two, you had few games back to back in which things didn't go your way, right? And I, I feel this is where you draw inspiration from, right? Okay, it's not going my way. But I know it will come. It's 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 as simple as that. You know, the first the first few games go didn't go nothing according to plan. Because in the first few games I wanted to stamp my class, I wanted to put my name out there. But you know, it didn't go according to plan. So when I go back to my room I wasn't too hard on myself to be honest. You know, I, 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 I know it was just a bad day and those bad days don't last. You know, you're gonna have more bad days than good days on the cricket field. So what I what I keep saying to myself is just relax keep trusting yourself after two three games you're not you're not a bad player sometimes you can feel external pressure you know but but you're not a bad player so when people keep tagging you in in stuff on social media and those kind of stuff i learn it the hard way meaning i learn that you should just leave that alone when i was much younger i used to read comments i used to watch the likes and all those things on social media i i I grew to realize that social media is not a real place you understand so what 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 happened is that i don't i don't follow that anymore i don't read the comments i don't read the likes i don't read what people tag in because people have people have different contrasting views to every single thing if you give if you give people 10 different if you give people one if one object they will form 10 different views you know right. 10 brother 10 different mind you know so 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 to go back to the start of the IPL it wasn't it w- it didn't go according to plan but you know I just relax my friend 
my girl back home, they just keep assuring me that, listen, just relax, man, you're still a good player. You know, it will come. And I just keep trusting myself. And, and we have seen on social media, like from the comments like, why did you buy this guy to never let him go? Yeah, yeah. It, it changes in a matter of seconds, It right? changes in a matter of seconds. You know, when I, when, I was, when I just started playing for the West Indies, I used to read the comments. And when, when, when I didn't play a game, the entire Caribbean would say, why you don't play Rovman Paul? Why you don't play Rovman Paul? And then I see I started playing and I do well. But the days when you didn't do well, the same persons that praise you, oh, Rovman Paul is such a good cricketer. Uh, those players are saying he shouldn't have, he should not be playing, and those kind of stuff. And those those things hit my heart. Then you understand, so I realized that social media isn't a real place. You know, right. behind those, behind those, those profile, there are a lot, of, lot of fake people. You know that that are just fake. So you just whether they say good or bad things in that moment you just you just leave it and let it be you know as it said time heal everything so over time you as you as a person when you go back to your room you have you're being hard on yourself because you want to do well right. you know you know you are at the best league in the world the IPL and you want to do well you want to show the millions that are watching but it's just it's just for you to take it slow and do it in god timing absolutely uh, i i want to talk about few things like from my personal point of view what I noticed you know uh, when you were having those couple of bad games I saw you uh, having a chat with Watson so what sort of chats do you have I, I know he's working on the mental aspect of the game and he's teaching us all like not just the players but us as well a lot of things about how to look at a particular problem yeah. talking about the perspective what o, what o, what o is big on the mental aspect of not just cricket but the mental aspect of life you know his 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 challenges in life is what he's trying to to not let let persons face you know when he was when he was playing for australia and he he was going through his hardship whether it be mental battle or a technical battle he never had the support staff around him to to really help him to to break down things from a mental perspective you know so what he do now is that he try he realize that it's a big gap that is that is left in in in, in the cricketing world so what he do here now is that he try to he try to impact us mentally you know just just try to see what we're thinking and try to clear out and try to take out all the dark spot all the demons out our heads and try, just try to re reduce the negativity that sometimes comes in our head from not performing or from having outside factors that interfere with cricket you know just try to take that out of your head and just leave you in a good comfortable space space where where where, where you are pleased with yourself and where you are comfortable to go there the next day and look at it as a next day a next opportunity you know so he's doing a very very good job you know back in the caribbean mental health in years gone by haven't been a a, a a very big thing not a lot of persons talk about mental health you know but now now they're catching on they realize that it's it's a very important part of 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 of, of cricket it's a very important part of life. You know, so now the Caribbean is catching on on mental health. They are a little, we are a little bit late, you know, but they get in there. I, I, I think since the pandemic, there, there's been a lot more awareness on mental health. Yeah, yeah. Since the pandemic, there has been a lot more awareness of mental health because with the pandemic comes, comes a lot of restriction. And the restriction is people are confined to their houses. And that is when people realize, say, this can really send you crazy. Right. You know, no matter how mentally strong you have, if you get up each and every day and you go through the same routine, you know, it, it, it can be very, very draining on you mentally. So after after a long time doing the same stuff, you get up, you watch movies, so till there is no movie for you to watch, you, you go through the same routine, home, and not everyone. And the next thing is that not everyone have... Of, of the luxury of, of a beautiful home with all the necessities that they would right. need. So even persons with the necessities that they need struggle. So imagine someone who is from a middle class to a lower income earning household that don't have majority of the necessities that they need. They don't have enough food. They don't have proper proper place to shower and all those stuff you know so th those things kind of kind of play on their mind mentally and and it's 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 good to see the place opening up now after right. after two or so years and, and we hope the worst is past us uh, that's all that's all we can hope for
Uh, great. So uh, coming back to uh, the brighter side of things, we also had some difficulties heading into the game where you probably would have hit six sixes. So we had a tough week, COVID situation, practice happening, not happening, the recreation room shut, no breakfast yeah. together. And then we go into that game. We, we had a game at CCI before that, yeah. uh, where a lot of us from the management didn't travel. We were yeah. in our rooms. And then uh, back to Vankade. Uh What were the thoughts in your mind when you walked in to play that game? It, 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 let me start from saying it was definitely a tough week. You know, it was a tough week. But one thing we keep reinforcing in the group that we talk on is that, guys, just keep tuning in. These things do happen. It's just life. You understand? So when, when, when we go to Wan Kelly, we just decided, we just decided as, a t- as a team that, listen, no matter which 14 players are been, is being selected into the squad, no matter which 11 is playing the game, we will stick together fight together and we will leave everything out on the park you know it's just it's just unfortunate that i didn't get to eat six sixes to win the game but those things do happen you know we, we are we didn't win the game so but but what but what we are pleased with is we were faced with obstacles and now we come we came out and fight as a team you know that showed the strength of the unit and that showed the mental fortitude of what the guys are about Absolutely. And, and then there on, uh, things have been going much better for you on the field. And everyone can see your prowess, how, how well you bat, how long do you hit those sixes. Wow. I, 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 I genuinely feel it, it must be some sort of relief for you because you already knew you could do that. Now it's just for there to see. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a big relief. Sometimes you feel as if when you when you're not when you're not doing well, you feel as if the world come on your shoulder. You know, so when whenever you start doing well now, you start to feel the weight of the world being released off your shoulder and that is such a real thing. It it it, it happened to me. You know, but I was cool, calm and collected about it. You know, I had a conversation with, with Risha. He came to my room after I failed in the first couple of games. He came to my room and he you know, he just reinforced reinforced the fact that listen you're a good player just relax and 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 you will play the games you will you just 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 your first few games in the IPL no matter what good of a player you are you know it take adjusting to it's the best league in the world after all you understand so it takes a little bit of adjusting to and and I and I gradually adjust and now I'm 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 kind of impacting the game for the Delhi Capitals and hopefully we have some important games coming up I will keep impacting them and better our chances to make it to the playoffs well it's nice to have a captain who who can be such a nice friend to you and talking about Rishab you bond really well with him yeah 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 you know he, he, we message we talk over the phone you know not even sometime not even cricket we just talk about our bringing he share his story with me i share my story with him we have a lot of similarities in that regard we come from poor but humble background and now we're using we're using cricket as a driving force to take our family out of poverty you know so we talk along that line he's not he's not a, he's not a drinker you know, so we we we'd burn over 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 food since he's not a drinker. If I'm drinking something, he would drink some so some fruit juice or something along that line. But yeah, it's good to have it's good to have a captain that even when you lose games, you remain calm. You know, if you should look on the demeanor of M. S. Dhoni, he's the best in the world going around as a captain and how and how calm he remain. You know, you need that calm figure within the dressing room to 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 just to just re- Assure everyone that tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow is an oppor- another opportunity for us to flip the script, whether we lose or whether we have a bad game. Right. And and talking about the humble beginnings, I mean, uh, recently uh, Ian Bishop, the great Ian Bishop, yeah. spoke about you and told the world, "Go watch his video on YouTube." The life of Roman Powell. I I I am from a poor but humble background. I am from Hold Harbour, a small a small village called Banister, where small entrepreneurship is the way to go. Sometimes that results in more sellers than buyers, and whenever you have more sellers than buyers, you know that is a problem. You know, so so that is where I am from. I am from where where farming and those kind of things is the central is the is a central income earner for for majority of the families there you know but from from I, from i was young 
I had this ambition. You know, from I was young, I had this dream that through cricket and education, that is the means that I will use to take my family out of poverty. You know, and, and so far cricket has been going good thanks to the grace of God. You understand a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, a lot of sleepless night as was as put into the cricket, you know, but to to, to take away from, from the cric to step away from the cricket side also. I also did some school work to ensure that listen me, if this cricket don't work out, I would I could I could get a a, a, a middle class job, you know, just to earn some money to continue to take care of the family, you know. So, so before before I I I I started playing professional cricket, I was actually I was actually going to become a soldier, you know. I was signing up I was signing up the papers to be a soldier if cricket don't work out, you know, to be a soldier. But in the next life, maybe I would be a soldier. From I was a young young child, I want to be a soldier and a cricketer. Wow. And uh, you're all wise now, very wise. You're a wise man. Uh, but when you were really young, uh, did you always dream that you will play cricket and do something for your mom and your family? It, it, it was always a dream of mine, to be honest. I, from I was young, I had, I had my head on my body. You know, I, I didn't, I wasn't drawn to a lot of, a lot of stuff that the young, the young, guys in the teens and all that the smoking and all the little factors that draw you away from your career path what you really want to do it was around me but i didn't i didn't like those stuff you know so i said so i i made a conscious effort to myself and just channel myself in this direction you know when i started playing for the under nine jamaica under 19 team i realized that i had a little talent in cricket and i realized that maybe i can make it a profession you know and my mom, my grandfather, they were always behind me telling me, say, listen, if this is what you like, just go for it and just give it your best. And at the end of the day, if your best is just not good enough, then you can live with that, you know, but at least you give it your best. And, and your mom? happens to be your biggest inspiration yeah mom is the biggest inspiration because as i said when, when i was when i was young i saw all the jobs my mom had to do all, all all the late night works my mom had to do just to make ends meet just to send me and my sister to school you know not not no father figure wasn't wrong you know but but one of the good thing is that persons were there to lend an helping hand persons from my school community was there to lend an helping hand you know so so that that also is very very important you know but mom is my inspiration because i saw all the hard work that she do you know all all the tiring nights you know you could see that she tired but she still had to get up go work come in ensure that we eat ensure that we sleep properly and ensure that we we, we go to school the very next day and your school teacher also happens to be one of the very important persons in your life, right? He he's the one who taught you cricket. Yeah, they they, they not not taught me, but they are the one that 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 kind of refined my skill when I was at the primary level. You know, when I was at primary level, I I did a lot a little athletics also, and then I I played I played cricket at the primary level. But I have two school teachers that, that, that are very, very close to me even now, you know, and they taught me like years, years ago, you know, Mr. Soul, Mr. Carlton Soul and, and Mr. Dylan, you know, when I, when I was, when I was in, when I was in primary school, they look on me as, as, as one of their own, you know, if I come to school, they would ensure that, that I'm all right, you know, they, they themselves didn't, didn't have much you understand so they know the struggle that person faced but but i was a good student i was a student that 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 persons generally like you know persons i didn't give trouble those kind of stuff i was just screwed into school and staying in school and ensure that I do well in school because, as I say, I realized from a young age that it is through education and cricket that I will take my family. So I, I knew that very early. That is one of my advantage. I knew that very early. So I, I, I was on the path of that, and I never tried to navigate around any corner. I just went straight towards that. And they, 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 saw, they saw it, 
I guess they saw the vision, they saw the dream, and and all they do is just to push me in that direction. You know, something that I, that until today I remain forever grateful for. Wow. We all feel proud of you, man. It's been a tough journey, man. But you know, through 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 the adversity that you face in life, you know, you you look back now, and that is what made the journey fun. Yeah. You know, my my best years, to be honest, aren't the years that that I have money. You know, my best years when I look back are those days that I that I sit down with my friends and we share one juice. You know, those those moments for me will forever be cherished. You know, I I I, I remember a lot of days when I eat. I I forget a lot of days when I eat steak, but those little days where. I have two, three friends, and all of us have to be sharing the one, the one juice where you drink a little, you give him a little. Those days, forever in my heart. So I never, I never forget those days because those days can keep your focus, keep your remembrance, keep you in line to say, hey, remember that this is a dream. Remember you were at one stage in life that you don't want to go back to. You know that is also one of my driving fears because I was so poor in life. I tried. I tell myself now that I get the opportunity to make better of myself, to make better for my family, we will not go back to that stage. Amazing. And I, I remember uh, watching that video, I saw your house, the ro- two rooms you spoke about, right? And I, I want to ask you, how was that feeling when you laid the first brick of your new house just next to it? Listen, man, it was, it was one of the proudest feeling. For me as a little man, you know, when, when, when we were growing up, I I saw my mom try to build a house. And, you know, she didn't she didn't complete it. So I tell her that, Mommy, I see the hard work. I see you, you have all the ambition in the world to make it a better environment for me and my sister. But things just didn't materialize in the financial aspect of things. Because when, when, when you're from a, a low income earning job, you know, sometimes there's no, no saving. Every money you get, just keep, just keep going back into school with a health and food. Mm-hmm. You understand? So there's no saving, and I, and it's through the saving that you can buy a house and those kind of luxurious things. So there wasn't a lot of saving. So I, I, I saw her hard work, and I told her, that mommy, don't worry yourself, man. I'll, <laughs> I'll get your house someday." Fortunate enough, I, I was, pr- I am privileged enough to do that. And when you're here and you talk with her, do you guys sometimes remember the good old times? Yeah, I remember the good old times. Sometimes, sometimes she even remember it more than me, and I'm like, "Mommy, yeah, Come I remember. On. Just, just, just enjoy it now, man. Just relax. Don't remember those things. Don't pressure yourself too much about about the past. Sometimes the pers- the past can align you to a particular journey, you know, but." And I don't remember. I tell her, I don't remember too much in the past, man. Just remember, yeah. just just focus on now. Enjoy the stuff that you have now that you didn't have in the past, you know, and yeah. just 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 put yourself in an environment to be happy. Right. I I hope you get her to watch some games in <laughs> India. She would love being at the stadium and watching. Yeah, games. yeah. Hope, hope, hopefully, hopefully, I do well enough. Do well enough for the Delhi Capital. That that's that's next year. Next year, I could carry her over for maybe a game or two for her to just to get the experience. Did you tell her that the one kid was cheering your name? Nah, <laughs> I didn't tell her because I just I just try to, you know, <coughs> just focus on the cricket side of things yeah. more. I, sometimes she would she would tell me like, son, why you never hit that ball for six, son? And I'll say, mommy, just relax, man. Just let me control the cricket aspect of things. You know, sometimes you can't get too much outside interference with the game. You kind of get to know your game, so you just want to, you just want to 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 to, to put it into practice. You know, sometimes it don't come off as all you want, but it is the sport. Great. Uh, th- there's one interesting thing. I mean, I I want to touch upon just a couple of things before we start winding up today's chat. One thing is, it's quite interesting, the things you do for the people who are less privileged or the people who helped you during your tough times, whether it's the cricket clubs who suffered due to the pandemic or let's, let's just go back first to your school. So we all had houses growing up in school, right? Yeah. Red, blue, 
So tell us the story about the houses you were part of and and there's something which makes you really proud. Yeah, when when in 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 school I was fortunate to have persons who believe in me. Persons who were there to lend an helping hand. You know, so and I and I never forget that. You know, so when when I when I when I know the person I am, I look back to see who along the journey I can help. You know, I, I so for Davis Primary School, when I was in sports day, sports day is where you do a lot of running and stuff. And the house that I was in was Blue House. But now they name they name Red House, Powell House. You know, you know, when, when they did that, you know, that touched my heart. You know, so I have a good connection with all with all my schools. So Davis School I would I would help them out in whatever way I can. You know, if, if, if they have a maths competition that they need funding for, I would I would do that. If they need funding for sports day, I would do that. I try to take care of the expenses of the house. You know, I, I would do that for my secondary school. I would send I would send gears to them if if, if they need need anything cricket wise, some shoes or whatever the case may be, I will I will send it back to them for old Daba Cricket Club. I would help them also financially. St. Catherine Cricket Club, I'll help them financially also. The university, University of the West Indies, Mona Campus, they gave me a scholarship when I was when I was nineteen years old. They put me in an environment in which I can which I can be the person I am now, you know, through, through, through schooling, meaning getting a degree, and also put me in an environment where, a facility where I can develop as a cricketer, you know, so now I try to give back to the university. Recently, I, 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 finished, I finished fixing up a, a, net, a net area, a net area where guys can train, you know, because that was lacking. When I was growing up, it was, it was being... It was de- deteriorating, you know, so now I get it up back to acceptable standard where guys can train. I am also in dialogue with them to sponsor them in the upcoming 50 over competition because, you know, it's coming out of pandemic, you know, in, in the pandemic, before the pandemic, some of those local clubs were struggling for financial, financially, you know, so imagine coming out of a pandemic, you know, I am trying to be that person to, to bridge the gap to help them to survive until the pandemic is over and they can earn, they can do whatever they need to continue to to to, to make funds to to supply those competition but for now I'm trying to to bridge that gap if they have a little bill I'll see how best I can pay it off or pay a 50% you know just for guys just for it not to impact the club too much so that more mm. guys can come out of the club and play for West Indies and come here come experience Delhi Capitals you know so I I feel as if <coughs> I have a responsibility you know, and my responsibility is to, is to give back in whatever way I can Wow. And and a fun fact for for everyone who's listening to us now on Spotify, there's a maths competition named after you, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a maths competition named after me at Old Abbey School. You know, but but the funny thing is that I wasn't so good at maths. You know, <laughs> but it's just it's just the teachers that I stay close with. You know, the teachers that I stay close with saying that, hey, listen to me, we have a little maths competition. And and I would say okay, I I have no problem helping financially. Whether it be paying the top math, giving the, a little a little grant to the top math student, giving a little grant to to cover to cover the little expenses like the trophy for the first prize, the first place winner, second place winner, third mm. place winner, the best maths group. You know those kind of little things. You know sometimes you need some little additional funding to take care of those things. So. I, I, that, that is, that is one of my job. Wow. Last thing, uh, I, I want to close uh, with you talking about hitting a six, getting your hundred, breaking the glass, and signing it off. Yeah, that was that was my first international hundred for West Indies. You know, it was it was a very very emotional one because we were we were in a World Cup qualifier. 
you know we were in a world cup qualifier and we had a must win game against ireland when i went to bat we were in so much trouble we were about 60 for four or 60 for five and myself and jason Waldo were there looking in each other eyes and say boy what are we really going to do here? And we just said, listen, we're going to bring our best game. You know, fortunately, I scored 100. And when I was on 94, I, I hit a six that break the glass. And the joy that I felt at that moment. I was screaming. I was screaming. I was saying, yes. It was, it, was such, it was such a proud moment for me. You know, and after the game, they asked me to sign, to sign, to sign the the. the the glass, you know, I went, I went as far as to put in my head that I'm going to name my daughter, my daughter Arari, because the game was in Arari right. Sports Club in Zimbabwe. So I would say, I would do it like Brian Lara, who named his daughter Sydney after scoring 100 in Sydney. That's on, that's in Australia. So I say, I would, I would do it, I would do it like Brian, you know, and I would name my daughter Arari. But the, the the thing with naming my daughter Harare is that I know I don't know if the mother of my child will allow that. <laughs> <laughs> so that is that is the tough part. And and your mom also asked you, what if it's a boy? What what if it's a boy? I, what, what did I what did I say? I say no. You didn't have much to say then. No, I didn't have much to say then because yes. I I. I Didn't want think about it. my first child. I want to be a, a, a nice, pretty little girl, you know, and I'll protect her, my little daughter. <laughs> ah, sweet. Uh, I, I, I said that would be the last thing, but uh, I, when you spoke about Jason Holder, uh, Jason, Russell, those names popped into my head, right? You, you look up to them, they guide you, you want to be like them. And I, I remember Russell saying, w from what I've seen, brother, you can do better than what I've done. Yeah, it's, it's, there are guys that start playing before you. You know, there are guys when you turn on your TV, you saw them playing for West Indies. You know, so now, now for me to be, to be actually playing with them, playing against them, it let you feel that, that good within yourself. You know, it make you feel satisfied within yourself. You know, so... So it's 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 just it's just me now putting on my competing at and competing against the players that I grew up watching. You know, Chris Gill was also one of those players. You know, when I just started playing, I started playing for the Jamaica Talawas. And Chris Gill, somebody that that I grew up watching on TV and see how, how easy he hit a six and how good of a player he is. So when I started playing for Jamaica Talawas, I, I would watch him closely and I would say, is that really Chris Gale? You understand? And then over time you get to realize that, yeah, you see them on TV, but it's a different feeling when, when you're playing with them and when you see them in person. You know, so, yeah, it, not not to say to be like them. I want to be like Robman Paul, but but I'd want to achieve a lot of a lot of the stuff that they achieve. Right, huge huge respect to you and all those legends. They yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, Very it's good guys, man. They they just make our lives much more entertaining. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Great then, Roman. Uh, uh, it's it's never enough, but we gotta go attend our party tonight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, eat some eat some Indian food. And, and just relax, just to spend some time with the guys, drink a few drinks. Just, just have a little time before, before we get back into the cricket aspect of things. You know, that is very, very important for when you come off the cricket field. You are not too consumed by the cricket in itself where you don't have a life outside of cricket. Mm -hmm. You know, so now in Delhi Capitals, after every few days you try to you know ju just to have a little a little get together with the players you know leave the cricket inside out of it and just have a little bit of fun that don't 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 have anything to do with cricket so tonight tonight we'll we'll eat some food drink some juice and maybe in the next room play some games because the games room is very very active at night you know so you know that that's what we're doing tonight, and then tomorrow onwards we can think about the next game or we plan mm -hmm. or we plan to approach it. Great. So, I I just want to say chatting with you was more like a meditation to me. I feel rejuvenated and mm -hmm. I feel inspired. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. That's it's. it's
a privilege to have you here with us man we yeah, are proud of you thanks a lot man if 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 the guys watching give good feedbacks you know we can have this we can have this more often they just still send in the topics and we'll sit and we'll talk about it you know it's 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 life and and from my perspective if i even impact one person out there watching say for instance they have been a bad day and they take something from what i said and make it and and it change their day it give them a different outlook to life then i think i did, i do my job you know life is about impacting players in whatever capacity you can and it's good if we can do that sometimes wow so that's a nice signing off note for us if you all love listening to roman just drop in some suggestions and we'll be back yes. with some smaller just chats drop, right just, just drop in some suggestions man it's 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 we're at the ipl after we play the games not a lot to do so i'll sit down and talk with you guys a little more <laughs> awesome so thank you so much that was roman powell and we were blessed to have this conversation with him thank you again thanks for having me man awesome